VST instruments are software synthesizers and samplers that allow you to create thousands of different sounds. Before we start looking at the instruments themselves, let's look at how to add instruments to a project. The quickest way to do this is to create an instrument track. Before I go any further, I want to clear up some confusion that people have when creating instruments. If we choose an instrument and click OK, we will then need to choose a preset to get the right sound. Now let's go back a few steps and undo Add Track. Add an instrument track again, but this time press the Browse Presets button. See how the ability to choose an instrument is grayed out now? This is because we are now given the chance to find the right sound no matter what instrument the sound comes from. This larger window pops up, allowing you to pick from thousands of different sounds. The Show Location button works in conjunction with the Media Bay which we'll look at in the Media Bay chapter. For now, just make sure that these options are all checked. If you click on it by accident, just hit Cancel. Deselect the Show Location button. You can use the categories here to narrow down your search. You can even choose to only look for sounds for a specific instrument. Click on one of the sounds and make sure MIDI input is lit. Then, play your MIDI keyboard to audition sounds. Once you've found a sound you like, press OK and an instrument track will be created featuring one of Cubase's instruments. You can change to a different sound by pressing this button here in the inspector. However, it will only be the sounds from that instrument. Toggle Categories in the lower left corner to widen or narrow down your search. If you want to change instruments, you'll need to select a new instrument just above the spot where you change the presets. You can also use MIDI tracks to trigger instruments. First, you need to create a VST instrument track. To do this, go to the Devices menu and select VST Instruments or press F11. This is the VST Instruments window. There are 64 slots and each one can have a different instrument loaded into it. To add an instrument, click where it says No Instrument and select one from the list. Let's choose Halion 1. Notice that a VST instrument track appeared in the project and a dialog window popped up. This window is asking if you want to create a MIDI track that is linked to the instrument. Let's click Create. There is now a brand new MIDI track in the project and a Halion 1 instrument has popped up so that we can select a sound. To stop the dialog from popping up all the time, go to the Preferences. Then click on Plugins under VST. Click on the drop down next to Create MIDI Track when loading VSTi. There are three options here. Always creates a MIDI track every time you add a VST instrument. Do not never creates a MIDI track when you add a VST instrument. When it's set to Always Ask To, the dialog we saw earlier will pop up every time. Let's leave it set to Always Ask To. Now let's load up a Halion 1 preset. Click here to view the list of presets. Toggle Categories off. This allows you to search without the category selection blocking your results. Let's select the Rock Standard Kit 1. All of the presets in Halion are great, but I think the drum sounds that Halion can achieve are fantastic. Along the top, there are the standard power, bypass, and read and write buttons that are found on every effect and instrument window. Each instrument also features a bunch of parameters that can be changed to affect the sound. Halion 1 is a sampler, meaning it plays back audio samples. So you can't actually change the sounds themselves. You can only change how the sound is played back and add effects. There are knobs here to add things like chorus or reverb to the sound. 
you can add compression and change things like how the sound decays and how long the release is. The sheer scope of these instruments is too much to cover in this DVD series. We will, however, touch on all of the instruments and plugins in level 4 of this DVD series. There is a plugin reference manual available on Steinberg's website that goes through every single knob and button on each instrument. Have fun experimenting with all the knobs and buttons and create some amazing sounds of your own.